So lately I've been getting a lot of questions from users about how I get my backgrounds to do the wallpaper slideshow effect as well as where I get all my high resolution wallpapers. So this is just a quick tutorial on a really great website to go to. Uh, it's called wallbase.net. It's probably the best site I've found on the internet to find and download high resolution wallpapers. Um, just going to the site here, you can see it's pretty straightforward. It's a nice, clean, simple site. You've got your general uh, word search here, as well as you have a color search. So you can click and pick any specific color you like to try and match your desktop theme. And all you do is click the little search here, and it's going to populate thousands of, uh, I guess, desktop backgrounds with that color in it. So this is something that's really cool and unique to this website. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Uh, you also have your standard search as well, and random up in the top right corner here, which is pretty cool too, because you just get whatever. Now, up at the top here, we have our filter button. So we've got our standard safe for work. Um, sketchy and not safe for work so by highlighting or unhighlighting these it's gonna kinda pick your content all the wallpapers on the site are ranked by users so essentially if it's uh, not safe for work then people will mark it not safe for work and so on so for our case we're gonna leave it as safe for work and we'll move over to our resolution so you can pick uh, you know like high resolution wallpapers usually I don't want anything in the lower resolution so 1920 by 1080 is kinda what I like to go for and above that and then you've got your ratios you can search by that uh, showing how many files per page really doesn't mean a whole lot and you'll see by scrolling down here normally at the bottom of the page where it says page two here you'd have a little next button on most sites where you'd have to skip to the next page but with this it automatically just when you hit the bottom it populates more files and away you go so really awesome in that sense you can just keep scrolling down and it'll keep populating more and more files scrolling back to the top here we will just kinda go over to the right hand corner here and we've got a few more buttons we've got uh, top rated uh, just your FAQ help button comments as well as the random button. So we're just going to click on the random button and see what we get. So now we've got a whole pile of files here and uh, we're just going to click in the search here. We'll try actually searching something out. Let's try Superman. And there we go. So now we just have tons and tons of Superman files. So pretty cool. Great website. Definitely worth checking out. This is a great uh, archive of wallpapers here for you to download and now we'll move on to how to get this into a slideshow so I've gone and set my uh, desktop settings back to the factory settings where I've just got the Windows 7 defaults here so to get the slideshow effect you do need Windows 7 um, simply click right click on the desktop uh, click personalize and it'll bring up a menu here uh, at the bottom here we click on desktop background it's going to show you kind of all the desktop backgrounds that come packed with Windows 7, but for us, we want to find the ones that we downloaded off the wallpaper site. So we're going to click uh, Picture Library. That's where I put all of mine. They're all kind of in a folder, so they're all easily accessible inside there. And they're all check marks. So you've got Select All, Clear All, or you can individually check mark which ones you want to use in the slideshow. And then you've got your little duration button here. For me, I like to keep it at 30 seconds, kind of a good number for me and I just put it on shuffle as well as picture position you can kinda pick uh, how you want to position your pictures uh, for me they're all the same aspect ratio so that doesn't matter but if you are using random file sizes then that will be something you might care about other than that you click save changes and then once the theme has been created we're gonna have to save it and we'll just kinda give it a, a name here we will just name it test theme and save it and there we go we've clicked on it and we'll just exit out of here and there we are we've got some cool video game backgrounds and they're gonna rotate every 30 seconds for us and that's uh, the tutorial I've got for you today so hopefully this uh, helps you out and pimps out your desktop a little bit and uh, yeah have a great day thanks